right that's what it says see minimum right so i would know each point i would know what is the gradient so gradient should be at some point should be less than epsilon so this guarantees that my algorithm will stop right is that fine any any other any questions those who are online any questions you got what i'm saying right so this is a nice result right so after so many steps will have uh, very small so in fact um, if you want for example this says if i choose my gradient square to be less than or equal to 2 lambda epsilon gap is less than or equal to epsilon right so that means if i need if you, if you want the gap to be within epsilon what should i do i should ensure that the gradient is less than or equal to 2 lambda epsilon right so i can as well do it instead of uh, this what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in 2 lambda here 2 lambda epsilon so what will happen this will be 2 lambda epsilon so this will be 2 lambda here right 2 lambda 2 lambda will cancel and what do we get f of x not minus p star divided by epsilon that will be the number of times you have to run to get epsilon close to the optimum right so in other words what is this saying if you run to get epsilon close to the optimum have to run order of 1 minus epsilon well to be very very precise i'll say f of x not minus p star divided by epsilon times right so this completes the story that means i'm epsilon close to the optimum if i run order of 1 by epsilon times very clear right so uh, i think it's very difficult to remember what is f of x not minus p star by epsilon so i'll simplify that's why order of uh, notation is very useful um can get epsilon close to optimum after order of 1 by epsilon rounds if i run the algorithm order of 1 by epsilon times i will be epsilon close to the optimum right very easy to remember epsilon 1 by epsilon you got the uh, gist of this uh, the story the, the big picture of what what this result says uh, in fact if you look at any algorithm you know um, if you look at stochastic gradient descent right that's what is being used uh, any papers even even papers right you see very very similar steps strongly convex and they just keep on doing that okay okay so uh, let me just ha huh. so i want to uh, make a note of one thing so there is a very very interesting uh, th this inequality right so what is this inequality saying i can rewrite it in a different fashion okay so it says this square is greater than or equal to 2 lambda times the gap right this is what it's saying it's some constant times the gap the gradient squared at a point is greater than or equal to some constant times the gap that's what it's uh, essentially saying right um, i mean gradient at any point so there is a name for this uh, it's called pl inequality in fact this is uh, one of the key tools in understanding deep neural networks but uh pl stands for i think polya those are some i don't know how to spell the second name so um what is so interesting about this um even if it is non convex function but if you can prove that it satisfies pl inequality still there is some hope you can go to global optima right there is some hope under certain conditions that's why it's very very important anyway this is just an aside okay so um any any other questions hmm? any other questions okay no questions hmm? okay uh, a small quick aside now so uh, because